Okay, so to start off, we're going to create our sphere, which is going to be our player. Uh, so what I'm going to do is hit X. First of all, you want to make sure that you're on Blender game, okay? Uh, so change that if you haven't. Uh, by default, Blender is set to Blender Render. Uh, so you want to change that to game. And you notice that settings here change. So what I'm going to do to create our sphere is hit X, delete, add a sphere. So I'm just going to put in UV sphere. Okay, so we got our UV sphere here. Um, you can see that you can reduce the polygons here. So you don't want it too detailed. Uh, this, actually I'll add a bit more. Okay, uh, reduce the rings a bit. Yep, this should be fine. Okay, so set it to whatever you want. You can make it as detailed as you want. Just don't go too high, otherwise it would uh, it would probably crash the game. Okay, so yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do now is hit tab, W. So this brings us to edit mode. I assume that you're familiar with the basic navigation controls, like control, middle mouse, middle mouse, shift, middle mouse, right? So, but I will help you with some hotkeys. Um, okay, so press W and set, hold on. You see how it's shaded? It's pretty, uh, you can see the squares, all the faces. Uh, it's pretty rough shading. So what we're going to do is make it smooth, uh, shaded smoothly in the Blender game engine. So W, shade smooth. Okay, so it's right now it's set to shade flat. You want to set it to shade smooth. Okay, so now it's you can you can see that it's shaded smoother. Um, now what we're going to do is add the texture to it. So I will drag this down a bit. Here, open the UV image editor. Okay, so open whatever texture you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what I'm going to do is use my logo. Let me just find that. It should be in documents. Okay, so I'm going to use my logo. Uh, what I'm going to do is Alt, right click over here. So that selects uh, this uh, ring right there. I'm, go I'm going to control, hit Control E. Actually, it doesn't really, I don't really need that. I'm going to select the whole sphere, go to top view. Okay, make sure that I'm on orthographic, and you project from view. Um, what this is going to do is basically, actually let's do project from view bounds. Since my uh, logo here is a perfect uh, square, I'm just going to scale that down a bit to make it look better, to make it fit better. Basically what project from view does, I'm just going to go back to perspective view. What it does is, from whatever view you chose, it's going to unwrap it that way, so it's just going to project it from there, okay? So, uh, it's not, you just have to be familiar with unwrapping. I'm not going to go through that in detail. Um, I did make a few tutorials, like my level creation tutorial, where I go over that. My normal mapping tutorial is pretty good for that, so uh, check those out if you want to learn how to unwrap properly. But this is what I'm going to use for now. So, uh, now I'm going to the material tab. And there should be a material there by default. If there isn't, uh, then press new. This material is from the cube, the original cube. So I'm going to call this D-Ball. Okay, so that's going to be my character, of course. I'm just going to increase the diffuse, and that's basically how bright it is, how much it reflects uh, from the lights that are in the scene. I'm specular. I'm not going to go too high. You could leave it as default. doesn't really matter. What's important here is going to texture. Uh, here's where you can apply your texture. So if you notice here, if you go to textured mode or Alt Z, it doesn't it doesn't look. Actually, it's I think it's fine. Uh, obviously, it doesn't look the best, but you could try. Whoops, you could try different uh, unwrapping methods like uh, mark seam and unwrapping from there unwrap you can see two spheres here and then select the top half so this is another unwrapping method I guess because uh, I don't know I, I just don't think that looks too good so you can move that there scale it up whatever you want to do you know just position it as best as you could um, Obviously, it wouldn't turn out better than before, so I am going to undo. This is fine, I think. But obviously, you can do better on yours. Uh, as I said, I'm not going to go over unwrapping in detail. I'm going to call this 
d okay uh d ball underscore texture and the type you want to set this to image um, now you may notice before I set that to image you may notice that when you hit P it's fine uh, that's when you're using OpenGL if you're using GLSL which is basically advanced shaders uh, you notice that it's gray because you didn't apply the texture um, in OpenGL it applies it automatically Blender does that if it's on GLSL then you have to manually add the texture just because GLSL usually uses uh, different textures normal maps and stuff like that so you have to apply each thing so I'm gonna set the type to image or movie uh, obviously ours is an image so it just ignore the movie part that's our texture D logo and an important thing you wanna do is pack the texture what this does is it saves the actual the image file inside the blender file um, this way it doesn't uh, it, when if you load it on a different computer or you know when someone actually wants to play your game and he loads it on his computer the texture is <coughs> excuse me the texture is saved in blender so it's not lost if you don't pack this and someone downloads it on his computer then it's probably going to be pink okay so uh now that that's taken care of you want to go to unwrapping let's see mapping Ma mapping yes coordinates it's automatically generated by blender we don't want that this is the generated by blender you can see that it's not the greatest um, so what I'm gonna do is set it to UV and see if you can see a difference in the uh, sphere okay you saw that change now it looks better than before uh, okay so that is in GLSL mode um, you can tweak it a bit uh, for example it's the surface is pretty dull so you might want to increase the intensity uh, here and make it hard so it's more shiny okay but that doesn't really matter um, if you don't use GLSL then it's perfectly fine um, you won't need those extra details so whenever I'm gonna be doing something for GLSL I'm just gonna say that this is for GLSL so you, if you're not using GLSL you don't have to worry about it though if you can use GLSL you should use it so what I'm gonna set this to is uh, hemi, hemi, whatever okay so what this does is it illuminates the whole field okay so I'm gonna be fine with this uh, as I said you could just leave it as multi textured and it would be fine okay but I like GLSL just because it looks better um, okay so but here's this is basically our cube uh, we could also change its the objects name you notice here it says sphere uh, we don't want it to be called sphere I'm gonna call mine D ball okay so D ball um, that's gonna be its name um, and that's pretty much what we need for our sphere okay so as I said you can get creative with yours um, it should be a sphere because it's gonna be rolling around that's how we're gonna set our logic so if you don't make it a sphere then I don't know how you're gonna manage with the logic uh, okay so uh, that's it for this tutorial in the next part we're gonna add controls to our sphere okay so see you guys next time